there's a couple different ways using Lightburn that you can connect pieces of your font together. Um, but the first thing you want to do is select the text you're working with, right click, go down and select convert to path. Once you convert it to a path it will allow you to modify your your text and you do that by using the nodes tool in this case. Um, when you hover over nodes you'll see that the hotkeys come up beside it if you need a little helper there. Select nodes, all your little nodes appear. I'm going to come over to the top of the I. I'm going to press I, that's the hotkey for insert, while I'm hovering over the line. And then I'm going to hit B, which is the hotkey for break. Pull that node up, pull the other node up, go to the bottom of the I, hover on the line again. Here, let me do this. I'm going to change it to line so you can see better where I'm at. But you hover over that line, hit I for insert. When you hit I for insert, you will see a node. Then B for break. Pop those together. Straighten them out however you want to. Take the other one and straighten that out. And you can manipulate these nodes however you want to once they're connected. Um, if you changed it back to fill, if it connected like it should, then you're going to notice that that area is going to fill in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll out. Whenever I'm done with this, I always select the entire font because you can see now that I've um, converted this to a path that my text is no longer connected. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire section of text and I'm going to weld that back together. And then the second way to do it, which I think is actually easier, again you're going to select your text, right click, convert it to path so that you can manipulate the text using nodes. So all those steps are the same. This is where it changes just a little bit. We're just going to grab this line and drag it up. We're going to drag it into the dot. I don't want to go over the dot. I just want to go into the dot. Then I'm going to come back hit my selector tool. I'm going to select the dot from the eye and the eye itself. Once I have both of those objects selected, I can press weld and they will become one piece. Um, again, I do want to come out and select the entire bit of text and weld it together. So that's what I use. Um, I hope it's helpful.